I've built a C++ engine and over the years used it for all kinds of projects, exercises and experiments. Today, I'd like to introduce it to you. It is very easy to use and it gives you direct access to graphics, pixels using C++. You'll find the GitHub repository linked in the description. To use the engine, your custom application should inherit from TPWE application, which gives you access to several key lifecycle methods. First is on create, which is method called during the application's construction, uh, serving as your primary initialization point. On UI render, it's a specific method you can redefine to handle your MGUI elements, suitable for rendering demo windows or custom UI. On fixed update is a method typically used in game development for physics simulation, things like that. This method is called at a fixed interval, regardless of your game's frame rate. So it might be used for anything where you need consistent behavior. On frame render, this is where your application's drawing and custom rendering happens. There is one more method on update where you can handle controls and logic. It is not used here, but it is available. Here you would instantiate a new application for our example of type test app. Uh, apply your defined settings and return the application instance. The settings are window size, which define how big the window is, render target, which defines how big your viewport is, and uh, for instance, FPS log. There are more things, but the FPS logs is tied to on fixed update. Let's quickly examine the engine's core. It's derived from the TDX pixel game engine and leverages its internal methods like on user update and frame. Here you'll find settings from InGo integration and on user create, which acts as the application entry point, subsequently calling your custom on create method. Similarly, on fixed update directly invokes your applications on fixed update method. This entire system is hardware accelerated, running on DirectX. Here is entry point where TDX Pixel Game Engine or object of its derived class is set as a renderer. This is my custom engine based on JVID X9 Pixels Game Engine. While it's an older version, it works perfectly. I made a few changes. The most important one porting it from OpenGL to DirectX. Not because it was necessary for anything, just because I can. The core mechanism works like this. It renders a screen-sized quad, which is handled by the vertex shader. The vertex shader itself does basically nothing. The pixel shader takes a texture as input and simply samples it across our triangles, effectively drawing on the screen. On the engine side, the primary task is creating and filling the texture with pixel data. So this texture is sent to the GPU where it's sampled by the pixel shader and rendered onto your screen. This approach provides a highly efficient and clever way to achieve pixel level access in C++ rendering. In the application, the engine's drawing capabilities are quite extensive. Uh, initially, you might see number being rewritten and noise. Uh, there are more things you can do. Draw line, draw polygon, draw rectangle, draw sprite, draw text. For instance, to draw text like Pavel, you need to specify coordinates using TDX VE2D, which stands for two-dimensional integer vector, for example, at 1010. You can also draw shapes like a circle, at 50-50 with a radius of 10, and even specify custom color or mask. Finally, a key feature is that while window size is defined, you have complete control over the viewport resolution. For example, changing from 860 to 8060 pixels. This significantly impacts performance, of course, but more importantly, gives you more control over the pixel size. The engine is an easy, lightweight solution for your graphics-based C++ projects. Uh, you can also use TPixel Game Engine as a standalone component in your project. If you don't need a UI or anything fancy, this might be a better solution. It basically consists of just including that one file. Feel free to use it as you wish, fork it, make your own changes, have fun. The Pixel Window Engine is designed as a static library, making it very easy to integrate into your C++ projects. Its general settings uses relative directories for key components like MGUI and 
TPGE, which is basically a renderer, my Tuchnia Pixel Game Engine. This modular design allows for easy component replacement if you need to do that. Mentioned libraries are located here in the extensions folder. Imgui is compiled as a static library, uh, sharing similar binary and object paths. The TPG engine also compiles as a library and has no dependencies. It's configured for the ITO release or debug builds. After compiling this and the engine, a testing application can be built and run. After launch, you will see a viewport initially displaying some noise. An Imgui window on the right can be whatever you want. Now it's in the demo mode. Moving to the application settings. Uh, linking is handled towards distribution, uh, specifically connecting this application to the engine library. A crucial step for engine compilation is in compiling all necessary include files and library files to the distribution folder. This folder is what you use for compiling your project. It contains all required libraries and relevant includes, and its integration can be observed within the test application. I'm going to use it more on my channel to demonstrate interesting algorithms and principles. I believe that having the ability to easily render graphics in C++ helps a lot with experiments or projects. That would be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more in the future, hit the subscribe button. See you next time.